Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another Saturday Psalm Things with Mots. Hi, I'm Mots, and it is officially fall, and it feels like fall. So today I have my really good friend, Josh Abrams, who is a wonderful wine consultant person, genius from Breakthrough. He's a returning guest, and we have a beautiful what we're calling an autumn wine lineup. Two wines from Australia, two wines from California that are perfect for the season. So without me dribbling on, I'll hand it over to Josh. Welcome back. Awesome. Let's go. Thanks for having me. Okay. We're going to start with the uh, Penfolds Max's Chardonnay. The Max's in Max's Chardonnay refers to Max Schubert. And Mott's, I'm sure you've heard of Penfold's Grange. I sure have. So Max Schubert was the original winemaker from 1948 to 1975. He made Penfold's famous by making Grange. Correct. And this Max's series is kind of an ode to him. So what do you think of the Chardonnay? I like it. I, it's very tropical. I'm getting a lot of stone fruit, a lot of lychee, macadamia. And then when I taste it, it's, it's crisp. It's not buttery. It's... Like I said, tropical, you're getting mango and guava and papaya, but still depth and finesse. Yeah, I, I get a little bit of like almost almond sure. as well, kind of on the mouth and some good mouthfeel as easy, well. Easy, easy drinking. I mean, you could definitely pair this with anything. Uh, charcuterie, you could do a nice Waldorf salad or even a chicken, san a, a chicken salad sandwich. I was craving one of those yesterday. But uh, it's just so pleasing. Yeah, very refreshing. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go on and on and on because I was just floored. I'd like to taste more, but it's, it's such a great lineup. I want to move to California. Okay, yeah, we'll bounce back and forth. Yes, so. we will. Um, we are going to go to the St. Hubert's, the Stag Pinot. Okay. Um, this is the first vintage of the Pinot that they've made. Um, we were commenting on how beautiful on the nose the red fruits right, are. They right. just pop. Um, yeah, a lot of good sweetness, um, but not a sweet wine. Right, right. Um, but definitely those beautiful red fruit characteristics is what I get. You have red currants and cranberries and ripe red raspberries, almost macerated. For a Pinot Noir, this is this is pretty big. Where in California mm -hmm. is this from? Yeah, so this one is from, it's Central Coast. Okay. Um, so they're, they're sourcing fruit from Monterey and some sure. of those areas, um, which gives them a warm climate, but also some big temperature swings to allow them to get, you know, that balance. I, I like it. I mean, it's, I'm not a big Pinot fan per se, but this has depth. This has body, and for around twenty dollars, I think this could deliver without paying that thirty, forty, fifty dollar price tag for people who want to discover Pinot Noirs. I think this is a great way to start. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's it's beautiful. It really is, and I think Greg, the winemaker, is just a genius at his craft because it really shows. With the color and the and the flavor, yeah, and and one of the things they're doing at St. Hubert's is they're trying to highlight some of the lesser known winemaking regions okay. in California. So they're not Napa, Sonoma. So sure. you get this Central Coast and and Paso, which we'll get to. Oh yes, we will. Um, but but showcasing a lot of the great winemaking areas of right. California. Right, and I I I like this. This is the first time I've had it, and I'm a fan. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful Pinot Noir. Yeah. So you know what that means. Time to move on. Yes. To one of my absolute, absolute favorites. This is what got me hooked 15, 20, 25 years ago. We'll stop there. <laughs> 10 years ago. Uh, this Penfold's Bin 389, which is a Shiraz Cabernet blend. I discovered it in Australia and was immediately hooked because it was just so amazing, enormous, and flavorful. Everything that you could want in a bottle of red wine is in that. But 
you tell us about it? Yeah. So affectionately, this wine is known as the Baby Grange, which we talked about earlier. It's one of the most famous wines in the world. Right. Um, they call it the Baby Grange because they actually aged some of it in the previous year's Grange barrels. Sure. So they call back to that. Um, they like to say, Penfolds, we like to say um, they're balancing kind of the sweet and the savory, the Cab and the Shiraz right. um, in this bottle. And the Shiraz from Australia is, you know, that's really one of the things that they're known for. So you do get that spice note on here, but it's balanced out beautifully um, by that excellent Cabernet. It really is. And the winemaker being Peter Gago, once again, genius at what he does because he's been doing it for so long. And what he puts in the bottle is nothing short of ambrosia. Mm -hmm. And this wine really, really defines that. What would you pair with this one? I would do maybe my world famous ribs. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, homemade barbecue sauce. Something that can handle a glass of 389. Yeah. You could do a porterhouse steak, you could do a filet, you could do anything with the blue cheese sauce, uh, pork chops, a big tomahawk steak even would pair nicely with this and friends because I'm getting eucalyptus, I'm getting mint, I'm getting dark black cherries and black raspberries. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wine. Well, that's, that sounded like an invitation. It with was the world famous oh, ribs, so we'll are. have to kind of talk about that a different time. I think I'll make the ribs. You bring the wine. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, yeah, I mean it's just such a beautiful bottle, and as always, Miss Sheila's going to have them on sale, which is a great, great, yeah deal. And these Penfolds wines, just you know, with it being fall, heading towards the holidays, it's hard to find a better. Gift wine, right. um, you know, if you're going to a party or giving a gift. Right, um, right. So with this being on sale, it's a great time to kind of stock up now. It really is because Halloween's coming up, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful for these wines, but we have to move on. We do. We yeah. do. Number four is? Yeah, so we're going back to St. Hubert's, the SAG, okay. um, and this is the Cabernet. Wow. This is from Paso Robles, which is a hot. Uh, winemaking region in is, California. Um, one of the hallmarks of this area is that it is known for the biggest temperature swings of any winemaking region in California. So you get these hot, hot days and these cool, cool nights, and it gives the winemaker this unbelievable fruit to work with. Right, right. And I, I get a lot of that fruit. This is the black fruit, the black pepper, the mm -hmm. black cherries, the toasted almond covered macadamia nuts, you name it. Anything black is is in this because it's just unctuous. And if people know anything about Paso Robles, is that it's four hours south of Napa, two hours south of San Jose. It's my favorite wine-making, growing place in California. Oh, yeah? It's what Napa and Sonoma used to be 20 years ago. It's undiscovered, but they're producing great zins and cabs that are just off the charts. And I'm, I'm liking this a lot because it's very affordable, but so tasty. Yeah. Josh, this is tasty. It is. And this brand is, is coming on like a freight train. They're sponsoring the X Games, so they're all over Aspen. I like that. Um, which is super cool. And this wine, I mean, it's got great range, like you were saying. I think there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of fruit, oh, sure. a little bit of everything going on. Here. Mocha, toffee, black pepper, white pepper, it, it has it all. And this has just been such a great lineup. So, Josh, thank you again. And to all of our viewers and listeners out there, thank you for your support. Come on into Argonaut. These will be on sale and we'll definitely help you if we see you come up to us. And Josh, thank you again. Yeah. And I'm going to see you either next month or in December for another great lineup. Can't wait. Okay, so Thanks here's, for having me. Absolutely. Here's to fall and autumn and these wonderful wines. Cheers. Thank you so much. Absolutely.